The Pastoral Agents Department, Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria, has organized a familiarization meeting and national leadership workshop for chaplains and presidents of lay apostolate groups in Nigeria. The meeting, which is the first of its kind, took place at the Secretariat in Durumi and it had the theme, the mission of the laity in the church and politics in Nigeria. Sitivis Tony Abba completes the report. Gathered in this hall are chaplains, national leaders and presidents of lay apostolate groups in the church in Nigeria. They are here for the familiarization workshop organized by the Pastoral Agents Department of Catholic Secretariat of Nigeria CSN. The workshop is to introduce and familiarize these church leaders to the new Bishop Chairman for Laity, Most Reverend Dr. John Ebebe Aya. The CBCN Secretary for the Laity, Mr. Joseph Ishu, in his address explained why the meeting was necessary. This meeting is very relevant. And of course, from the records available to me since the establishment of the Catholic Secretary in 1958, this kind of gathering is the first in the Department of Pastoral Agents organized by the CBCN Laity Committee. Reverend Father Augustine Okochi, the Director for Pastoral Agents, in his remarks called on the church leaders to be like Christ in their style of leadership. Mostly to accommodate our differences. Our differences, if properly harnessed, will make us richer. And let us, as Christian leaders of church organizations, never be jealous or afraid of the talents of others. The most successful leaders are the leaders that harness the talents of those in their organizations. Don't be threatened by the talents and God's gifts to your fellow human beings. Rather, make friends of them, use those talents to build up your organization. And the, the Bishop Chairman for Laity, Most Reverend John Ebebe Aya, in his keynote address, stated that the Catholic social teaching is a response by the church for the lay faithful to go into politics and provide good governance. For you as a lay, we encourage you to go out there into politics. Go out there. And please, when you go out for a contest, leave your options open. You can defeat, you can be the winner, you can be defeated, you can be the loser. You know, I always quarrel, we celebrate winners. Where is that forum where we celebrate those who lose? And in politics, how do you show that you are a good Catholic politician? I cannot encourage my Catholic to go and read election. No, I cannot do that. I can't encourage my Catholic to um, go and do things. They do horrible things because they want to win. Some who are Christians go to juju houses because they want to obtain the power from the other side so that they can win. They have to win at all costs. No, that's not it. We know you are a politician and you have always been fighting. We know the values you stand for. Keep struggling. The workshop provided an opportunity for participants to ask questions and answers were provided by the Bishop Chairman. The National Chaplain of Knight of St. John International, Reverend Father Patrick Alumuku, who addressed the gathering, explained the role of the Catholic Action Group. Catholic Action actually is founded by the, by the Pope, by the, by the Vatican itself, has an office inside the Vatican, has um, organizations all over the world, in different countries in the world, and uh, we are part of that Catholic Action and we must take that move now, make that move now to defend the church, to defend our priests, to defend our sisters, to defend our lay people, to live, defend our churches. Although the church cannot endorse a candidate, the church encourages its members to participate fully in politics, be a cat carrying member of all the political parties. The church is not saying that we must belong to one political party. We must belong to all political parties. Now, decision of this country is taken in politics, democracy. If you are not in politics, then any wrong decision they are taking on your behalf will affect you, will affect the 
country will affect the next generation to come. As mothers, I would like to challenge us that we take our destiny in our hands and that of our children and our husbands to do the needful by going out there to sensitize our fellow sisters, our sons, our daughters, and our husbands to go and do the needful by going to the polls and make sure we elect a credible and a God-fearing leader who will lead us in the year 2023 and in the year uh, next uh, dispensation. Because if we don't do that, we will definitely have the next years to cry. And if you believe you me, it is going to be worse than what we're actually going through at the moment. It's an opportunity for us to rise and also tell ourselves what we hope to see in the new in the future of our country. How do we contribute as Christians as Catholics to building a better country. That's what I hope to take out of this. For everyone to go back and sensitize the people within our groups, within our families, within our contact base, that it's time for everyone to come out and participate in the next election. Thank you. I, the Lordship they are giving you is... In Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.